Today we live in a world that uh, in many ways is so upside down that my mom and my dad would turn over in their graves if they saw and knew what is going on in this world around us. The morals, the ethics that are crumbling at our feet just seem astounding. Pastor Bob here from TLC Church. Thank you for joining us today. Let's look at some of the truly twisted things that are destroying our nation and the world. First, we see the mutilation of our children. It's a mutilation of not only their physical bodies, but also their psychological and spiritual lives. A lot of it done without parents' knowledge or permission. We have this thing called woke today that has infest, infested our society like a killer disease. The woke community has changed the politics of our nation. God has set the example of how you and I should treat each other. He sent his son Jesus to live on this planet and demonstrate how every aspect of our lives should be lived. He didn't encourage racial dissension or mutilation of the body which he created. Nor did Jesus lie or steal or kill or accept bribes or get angry or curse or swear. <laughs> Jesus showed and taught us how to love and how love overcomes most of the mistreatment that we suffer, which Satan has caused our world. <clears throat> Look at 1 Corinthians 13. That's the great love chapter. It says, love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. So if you're caught up in what we call this woke agenda, things will not work out for you. Try the love chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, for the theme of your life. It'll change things for the best. God bless. Father, we thank you for the writings of the Bible. Every book seems to have some great encouragement and advice for us. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen.